This video will show you how to determine takeoff distance giving pressure altitude, temperature, aircraft weight, and headwind component. Let's take a look at the Diamond DA40 takeoff distance chart before we move on to the problem. The nice thing about these charts is they usually include an example so that you can see how the chart is used. And in this case, they give an example of a pressure altitude of 2,000 feet, outside air temperature of 15 degrees C, weight of the aircraft is 2,205 pounds, headwind component is 10 knots. So what they do is they start at the temperature of 15 C and they draw a straight line up to the pressure altitude of 2,000. This line represents 2,000 feet. They draw a straight line over to the next reference line and then they follow these lines parallel until they get to the weight of the aircraft which in this case was 2,200 pounds. Then from there, they draw a straight line to the next reference line and they follow these lines again parallel down until they get to the headwind component of 10 knots. From there, they draw a straight line over and from that reference line straight over, they get their ground roll and they follow, then they follow these lines parallel up to get the takeoff distance over a 50-foot obstacle. And that would be 900 feet. And then the takeoff roll would be about 550 feet. So let's take a look at the problem. We're given the first problem a pressure altitude of 1,000 feet temperature of zero degrees C, weight of the aircraft is 2,100 pounds, and the headwind component is 15 knots. So let's start on the chart at our temperature of zero degrees C. So that would be right here, zero degrees C, and halfway between these two lines, since this is 2,000, this is probably, and this is 4,000, then there's 2,000 feet between these two, 1,000 would be halfway between these two lines. So you draw a straight line up halfway from zero, and then you draw a straight line over to the next reference line from there. Okay, and it's probably a good idea to use a ruler so that you get that as accurate as possible. Then, the next task is to find the uh, weight of the aircraft in the next section. That's 2,100 pounds. Pounds is up here. So that's this line right here. So from this point where we intersect the reference line, we would follow these lines parallel to these lines down to the weight. And then we would draw a straight line from that point over to the next reference line. Then we need to find the wind component and that was given to us as 15 knots. So we would again follow these lines straight down until we reach 15 knots. That looks to be about right there and then from there we draw a line straight over to the next reference line and notice we're right about here okay and that to find the number of feet we would draw a straight line over here and then we would follow up from the reference line parallel to these lines to get our takeoff distance over a 50 foot obstacle it's about right there so our ground roll looks to be about 400 feet and our takeoff distance over a 50 foot obstacle looks to be about 800 feet. So the answer is ground roll, 400 feet and takeoff distance over a 50 foot obstacle is 800 feet.